we are extremely privileged to have <laughs> Mr. Dominic Sanzoni, um, who actually has a very intimate knowledge of this garden. Um, and he has been taking photographs of the place, I think, since he was about 14 years old or something. 12, right? 12. Yeah, 12. And he tells the story about how Jack Baba handed his old Nika and said, go and take some pictures and let's see what it looks like. So part of the installation really is about a record of that wonderful association with the garden. The first gift is this. Shari, if you'd like to open it. <laughs> In fact, that's the only gift, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Can I keep that too for a minute? And my friend Sebastian called me and said, you know, I want to give you something. And this is what he gave me. He gave me this. Long time ago, I think 1972, Jeffrey gave me my first commission. He got me to do a painting on two plywood doors, which were for, as you walked into a place called Next Door, which no one here is old enough to remember, uh, was on the right-hand side. It was a painting. So it's funny connections. I guess I've seen this place since I was quite young. Jeffrey was very private. I think Jeffrey would be very surprised to see everyone here today. I came here in 1976 or 77, and I'd started doing photography. Um, and Jeffrey had a Leica M3, and I had been given an M3 body by mistake, uh, which was wonderful. But Jeffrey had a 21 millimeter lens, and he said it was wonderful because he never had to focus. It's a very wide angle lens. And knowing Jeffrey, having to focus would be very tedious, so he could just raise it to his eye and take pictures. What I think is amazing is someone who's known the garden since 1977 um, has still you know, found these amazing new ways to look at it. I got a printer, and the printer had a new attachment, and we started making the prints. The prints, to our amazement, came out on a roll. And the person who was helping me said, hold on, I think you know, maybe we should rethink what you're doing. So we did a couple of things. It's printed on a single sheet of paper, for whatever that means. Um, that was fun. And it's just looking a little bit closer at things. I found a wonderful way to photograph the garden without walking too much. <laughs> then these are some negatives from 1989, just the contact sheets. And I printed up a few of them just for this. And I wanted them printed on at a lab. I also, it's photographs of the people who are this garden. And you know, they are the, they are the soul of that, of what happens over here. Uh, an imprecise lot, sadly. I asked them if they could just tell me how many leaves they swept a day. And no one could give me an answer. <laughs> I can't walk around this place without thinking of Christoph Bonn, you know, with his pipe, and very precise, thank God he was precise. Um, he would say, I will meet you at 310 at the sundial. As you know, 310 to any Sri Lankan is very confusing. Um, I think of David Robson, we had a lot of fun going around here, I must thank them all. That's Lucky, and Lucky taught me at the Cora Abraham art classes. And there's another one here. There's someone else who taught me. Hold on. Christoph. Wonderful, wonderful Christoph. What a gentle person. And Christoph with my dear friend Topi de Alvis. Christopher de Alvis. I think who showed me a side of Sri Lanka I never knew before. But right at the bottom of the garden is... Ah, here it is. That's by Narasingham. Again, I was blessed and lucky enough to have him at the Melbourne Art Classes. I mean, I wonder what Correa Abraham did for hundreds of us. Someone asked me what my uh, concept was. There's no concept. It's just snapshots in a garden.